YouTube welcome back to the channel and another FC24 video so EA finally um, upgraded the FC fantasy cards so what we are going to do is pop into my club see which all cards got upgraded but we most basically we start off with roll pool because she was an 87 rated SPC that costed around what 620,000 coins and now she's all the way up to a 92 rated with some massive um, pluses so she got what plus four pace plus wait, three plus pace four shooting uh, three passing two three dribbling uh, four physical and a few on defending yeah I mean which is pretty solid considering she has only a 600 card SPC and most of us were pretty much waiting on her to get the boost so all in all well deserved and she is going to get another plus one for the appearance as well which is not too shabby uh next up is small Eric. Uh, he was an 88 rated spc he's all the way up to an 89 with plus ones and twos across the board and he's four star four star as well next iago aspas who was an 89 he's, he got an upgrade to a 19 now he's up to a 91 his physicals look really good he's got 91 shot 91 shoot 91 pass pace, 91 sh 92 shooting, pretty good. And then we've got Orban as well, who was an 87 rated initially when the campaign launched. Now he's a 91, he was a 90, but a 91, pretty well rounded. And Les Melu was 86, he got to 88, now he's 89 rated. Again, plus ones and two solid upgrades across the board with 99 stam as well, with press, with press proven and relentless as well and if you guys completed the Adley objective pretty banging objective card from an 87 rated he's got all the way up to a 90 rated card and banging um, attributes all the 92 pace 92 shot uh, yeah and then Stanway only got the plus one she was an 89 when the campaign launched and now she's a 90 rated card which isn't too shabby really well rounded and yeah, that's it for this part, but I do have the Division 4 uh, upgrades as well because, um, yeah, when when Season 5 came into play, EA did revamp the rewards for Rivals. We are going to see if they do pan out for us. So I was in Division 3 last season, but now I'm in Division 4. So, and what I normally do is take the last option because you get the coins as well if you're struggling with coins and all of the packs are untradeable which is uh, you know it's a pro and a con there so we get two rare megas mega packs two 45ks two 85 times three and one 84 times four and dxp does help as well and if you do need the for champ points if you if you did struggle they do come in clutch but generally they don't i mean it's not really needed for us but there we go so division four rank one those are the packs let's just pop straight let's just head straight into the store but actually let's just pop into the seasons uh tab to see if we did get the hack shirt the gold protector card okay into champs by accident let's pop into the objectives tab so eight thousand nine hundred nope eleven hundred xp needed and hundred for that so i think today's daily play once it refreshes at 10 p.m., I think that should get us the 100 XP we need. Okay, store. Um, oh crap! Open up the first 85 times three by accident. Spanish. Parejo, Putellas. Okay, inform, Cobel and Parejo. So what I am gonna do is either um, pop them into the exchange or SPC, and I'll be IB. All right, guys. So I popped them into the exchange, so we get the 86 plus exchange and the 87 pack so get to those later let's start off with the um, 45k packs yeah prime prime gold 45ks come on here hook us up dead uh, but do let me know what, what upgrades did you guys get did you guys completely roll for SBC or not uh, did you do the Warner instead because Warner got some massive upgrades I didn't personally do it because I was completing roll for at the time at small Arek. I had the Kafu and the theory on the SPC so that was the only reason but I don't regret it but yeah if I did I would have some mad 
um, super subs. But yeah, uh, what do you guys do? With, I mean, how, do, how was the champs last week? Mine was awful, so hopefully this week is better. And it's the last couple of days with Team 1, um, Ultimate Birthday and Ultimate Birthday Icons in packs. So how's that going for you? Oh, I've seen a lot of guys on Twitter and Footbin. Okay, Grimaldo's not bad. Get Hullet, uh, Van Jassar from the 81 plus and the 85 plus player pick. So I've only gotten gold raiders. I've got Kimmich, Oshiman, a couple of informs, nothing too great from there. So let's hop from the first exchange and English. Uh, strikers never had the gains, probably Callum Wilson. Yep, as, as usual. How many coins from that discard? 500? Yeah, could have been much worse. But yeah, uh, let me know how you guys are going. But we did manage to reach 200 subs, which is massive. So thank you to all the new subs. Hopefully, we just you guys like the content. Like, yeah, like what I'm doing. Just keep hitting the sub button. And yeah, thanks for the support, guys. Hopefully, we get to 300 much quicker than it took us to get to 200 from 100. And yeah, um, at the rate this is going, hopefully, that first 1,000 is within a shorter grasp right nothing great from those packs um, even the exchange packs weren't so good the first mega pack was awful as well just a couple of good um, chem styles second pack is that the arsenal goalkeeper you get an 84 Sule and anchor chem style a couple of good looking kits there for the PSG away and the event is third kit and yeah the uh, arsenal goalkeeper from the women's league and a Barca badge but nothing is um, tradable so no coins for that discard those come on EA 84 times 4 hook us up with a f never mind the English goalkeeper English goalkeeper oh it's up and a kimchi as well okay so yeah, I'm just gonna pop straight into the exchange, pop in right there. But how have you guys enjoyed the um, Ultimate Team birthday promo? I think it's been one of the best promos aside from Fantasy FC this year. Um, and then now I think there would be Thunderstruck, not Black Friday, yeah, because we had the daily Energizer 15 coin uh, packs in store. And a few people who I've seen on Twitter and YouTube. Have got some banking cards from the 750,000 coin pack. I personally am not going to use those coins because I, the way I grind um, a species is I use a, a mixture of coins and fodder depending on how many um, coins or how many, how much fodder I have in the club. So right now my fodder isn't that much, so I am going to use the coins to, if I need to, to complete a few of the species. Is that Reynard? No, it's Benjamin Pavard. A thousand coins, come on, just 500. All right, uh, so we got the last pack, the last pack, which is the 85 times three. Hopefully we get an ultimate birthday or an ultimate birthday icon. Come on again. There we go, ultimate birthday. No, that's Pope. Okay, come on, give us a messy. Rose Lavelle, okay, I've already got her. I've already got one of her variants, I hope it's not a dupe, but something good. Okay, it's not a duplicate. It, it's you get an informant that we already packed him. So, okay, I had the 5-star skill moves card, so this is the 5-star weak foot. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you've enjoyed the content. Uh, most importantly, uh, sub the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.